Hello and welcome, it's Jimmy Cube and I am here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia coming to you with a resin okie doke, get my gloves, a resin art pour I am using these resin art luster pigments they are sold at Capriole Shabby Chic in Australia they are from the colour art people so these are pigments luster pigments iridescent colorants for epoxy resin proprietary wetting agent reduces mix time there you go whatever that means i am not a resin um expert uh, by any means but as you if you do know and follow me you will know that i give it all a go so i have got some beautiful colors in these i'm going to use indian spice surfs up and mermaid and i might use twilight orchid i think i'm just going to stick with the four and then i'm just putting a bit of white just white acrylic from global in a cup too and i'm gonna add my um resins I'm just going to add these directly to the, um, or I'm going to add the resin directly to these beautiful colours. So just going to see what we get. So I'm only doing it on this kind of 20 by 25 little, um, this is an MDF board and I have gone over it with the just white paint just because it was like the dark behind it the dark browny color so i'm gonna i just thought having a white base but i'm just hoping because that's not fully dry that it will have oh i've gone and added the blue to my white okay oh well it must have been meant to be i might have to put some more white out so just trying to do this quickly because I have this resin made up from a previous piece of art that I did and I'm just trying to quickly use up what I have left so I don't want to waste it. Um, okay. Just Sorry, I'm, I'm just doing this off camera because I have done a piece before on camera. Um, so I've put like just my end of my, I suppose it was, they have got little, um, spoons that come with this. So you are to use resin and pigments with full mask respirator on. They're too, yeah, you have to, it's safety requirements. So I've just poured a little bit of the resin in there. And I'm mixing it, mixing it, just mix it really well. So I'll just go through each of them and save you the boring bits. Add my resin. Not going to have enough resin to make up any white, which is a shame because I wanted some white in it, but you know. It is what it is. I'm just using up some leftovers, so it's better than uh, it going to waste because, and that's another thing with resin is when you are doing a resin art piece, always be prepared after to do something with any leftover resin because it's far too expensive to waste any. So I have usually got, I've got a few silicon cake molds here that I've added uh, resin to that are heart shaped or whatever. And it just, um, yeah, it just uses up your excess resin. So I'm just mixing these colors. I don't, oh, they're absolutely, look at those. Absolutely beautiful. I did have my cup turner here and I wanted to do the resin on a cup but I wasn't organized enough to get it all ready. So before the resin goes off, so I haven't done that, but I will do a resin pour over a cup on my cup turner. But look at that, 
look at those colours. Oh my goodness. Let's get this going. Oh, just gorgeous. Absolutely. Shimmery gorgeousness. So, stirring, stirring, stirring. My dogs, they must be... We have a kangaroo that, that's a big kangaroo and he's on the outside of the fence and he literally taunts my dog, stands on the outside, but this particular kangaroo is a large one and he stands almost as tall as my husband, which is over six foot when he stands up. A big muscly terrorizer, we call him. Um, so, He's nice to see on the opposite side of the fence, but you certainly wouldn't get too close at all to him. Um, oh, those are gorgeous. Those have just kind of melted into that resin. Those pigments have just melted into the resin just beautifully. So where's my little... So this was the little bit of white I put in there and then I went and... Oh, Put some blue pigment in with it so this might be a throwaway i'm not sure if the pigment and the white will go too good but ugh. seems to be okay so i'll just give it a real good smashing in there and just a real good stirring so you're kind of smashing the pigment well i don't know if you're supposed to do this i've seen somebody else so I am no expert, but I just give it a go and just fly by the seat of my pants and hope for the best. So, I just, but just my message to you all is don't be afraid. Just give anything a go and get people say, oh, I'm so afraid to do. What's the worst can that can happen? It's only paint and it's only pigment. So pigment is obviously a little bit harder to deal with than paint. So... I hope I've got enough to cover this piece. I don't know what my dogs, it's gotta be the kangaroo, is taunting them, tormenting. Okie doke. So that is the lovely Luster Pigments resin art by Colour Art. And I got those from Capriol Shabby Chic, the, in Australia, which ship worldwide. Just gonna, go over this I'm not sure what this I might have completely stuff it up because this white is not dry let's just give this a go hey let's just give this a go so I might do kind of a sandy look down here Let's have that little bit just in case, and then I might give this aqua look just here. Hopefully, this is actually works because remember, this was the one with the white, so I'm not 100% sure about that one. And then I'll put this, I'll just double check what color this is. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't want to waste one little bit of that. Okay, and then I will go with the Fantasy Fuchsia. So that was Ginger Spice Ginger. Surfs up, fantasy fuchsia. Kind of hoping that I can spread this when I heat it with the the gun. Oh, that's what somebody told. There's nothing you can use your fingers with it. You can use the fingers to spread it. So shouldn't worry too much, should I? I'll put some of this Let's 
it's not particularly trying to do a beachy it's a beachy theme colors aren't they but i have no idea how to do that beach thing so i will need some instruction myself how to do the beach theme or just watch something pretty works out pretty good when you just watch something i suppose i'm not sure if i yeah why not why not use your fingers well, let's heat it up a bit it might make it a little bit better for me to use husband turned up now and uh, do you know what the dogs are barking at that big kangaroo or I'm not sure I took my gloves off this little bit. last bit of the goldy color which is the ginger spice I think I'll put that in because it's so sparkly this would be just gorgeous Let's give this a Well, that is so gorgeous. See, I will definitely um, wait till it's dried off and give you a real up close and personal because I need to obviously leave it level. And it is, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, oh, please, 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 please dry well. I had some of that color left. So I've put it just into this one heart shape at the end it's a silicon cake mold and i just like any bits of resin that i have left i put into the cake mold so i'll leave the cake mold right there and these colors oh and the actual pigment so easy peasy lemon squeezy just um dissolved in the resin so quickly and look at the shimmer so can you imagine a nice big art piece made out with those colours? It's absolutely super duper. So I am going to cover that with my little net. I'm going to cover it with my net. So no um, undesirables go onto my resin. So you can get these little nets off Capri. Actually, I'll probably just have to cover that one. Yeah, I'll cover it so I get no flies or insects uh, going in it. So those little covers are available in a couple of sizes too, I believe. Um, yeah, I will be back when it's dry. So these, this is the end product. It is really so much sparkly than what it looks uh, on the camera. It's just glistening. Um, so the only way is for me to take it out into the sun and show you when we have some sun and I will put that on my Facebook page. So see you guys again tomorrow. Look at all the options for...
this particular piece.